Welcome back. I said I was going to make another uh, part to the absolute value equations, and here it is. Today we're going to talk about the idea of what happens if you have an absolute value equation where there's numbers outside of the absolute value. That's what we're going to do today. But first, I thought I'd start it out with doing one uh, like we did in the first video, just to sort of refresh your memory about what's going on. Now, if you remember, I equated absolute value to how cars think. They don't know what direction they go in, just how far that they went. So when we have absolute values, we're going to spread the problem out into two separate problems. The first thing that we're going to do is rewrite the problem just exactly as it would stand if we didn't have the absolute value. So this represents the uh, car telling us the truth, because it always speaks the truth. And it also knows where it ended up. It knew what direction it was going. The other statement indicates that the car was still being truthful, but just was mistaken and had no idea that it ended up at negative 35, so going this way. If you don't get the car reference, you probably haven't seen the first video. Now, solve the equations as normal once you split them out. Uh, add 5 to both sides. Negative 10x equals 40. I'm going to divide by negative 10 here and here. x gives me negative 4. On the other side, plus 5. This gives me negative 30. I forgot to bring my x down. Divide by negative 10 here. x is equal to 3. So when I put out my grouping symbols. By the way, I should say I looked up what these uh, grouping symbols are called, and they're called braces or curly brackets. I didn't want you, uh, In the last video, you may have noticed that I kind of stumbled over what they were called because I honestly just forgot. I mean, you know, why would I start lying to you now? I, I just forgot what they were called. They're called braces, okay? So you just put your answers in, negative 4 and 3. And if I make a math mistake, you can, like, t you can message me or whatever or say, that didn't make any sense. So this is the setup for that. You just break it into two parts. Now, let's look at what happens if you have a number outside the absolute value like you do here. In this case, we have to do everything that we can do to the problem to get the absolute value by itself before we move on. So I'm going to draw the line here. I'm going to draw a little short line to give myself space to do it. The only thing I need to get rid of to get the absolute value by itself is plus 1. So I'm just going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I'm left with the absolute value of 7 minus 9x equals 43. So from here, what I'm going to do is just break it off into two problems like I did before. The hard part, really, or the strange part, was just to get rid of this plus 1. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to split the 43, not the 44, because remember, we had to get the absolute value by itself before we split it. 9x equals negative 43. Draw your line here and here. <clears throat> Subtract 7 from both sides. 36. Bring down your negative 9x. Negative 43 minus 7 is negative 50. And you're going to have to divide by negative 9 on both sides. And this gives you 50 over 9, and this one gives you negative 4. So that's my answer set. I would just put my little braces there, and I'll get negative 4 and 50 over 9. Not really that difficult, just make sure that you uh, break out the problem part first. Let's look at another one. <clears throat> In this case, the whole absolute value is divided or multiplied by negative 4. So to solve that, I'm just going to divide by negative 4 on both sides. So I get 8m, or the absolute value of 8m plus 10, equals 6. So when I do the setup, I'm going to split it out. 8 plus 10 equals 6, or 8m. 8m plus 10 equals negative 6. Draw the line. divided by 8, m equals negative 1 half. On the other side, 8m equals negative 16, divide by 8, m equals negative 2. So my answer uh, set here is negative 2 and negative 1 half. So really, it's just about getting the absolute value by itself and then splitting it off into parts. So for this one, and since I'm starting to get towards the five minute mark, I'm going to stop solving them all the way to the end here. You can forgive me. I think you can do the rest of it. Draw the line. 
to get rid of the whole thing divided by 6, I need to multiply by 6. 6 plus 2r equals 18. So in this case, I'm going to split this in... Oh, sorry, I forgot the absolute value. I'm going to split this into two problems. 6 plus 2r equals 18. 6 plus 2r equals negative 18. Now, if you've been watching these videos till now, you know that you're going to subtract 6 from both sides and divide by 2. I'm not going to solve them out, but you should just know you don't stop here. You need to solve them all the way out. But in this case, I'm just to save time, I'm just going to let you do those yourself if you need to or whatever problems. At least you have a place to go. If you're having trouble with two-step equations, there's a, another video on that. Now, this one looks gigantic. It's really not that complicated. You just do the same thing you did before, except there's two steps before you get to the two steps. Draw the line. Now, here is my absolute value. We're going to treat that like x. So the thing that's furthest away from it is certainly not the 2. It's the negative 5. So to get rid of minus 5, I need to add 5. 2, the absolute value of negative 9n minus 9 equals 108. Now, from here, I need to divide by 2 because this thing, uh, this absolute value is multiplied by 2. So when you have this you break it down, you'll do 108 divided by 2 and you get 54 here. So you bring down the absolute value. By the way, you may have noticed a glitch in the, a glitch in the video there. It's because the thing kicked off and I'm going back to it so sorry if it didn't flow nicely there. So what I'm going to do from here is just split it out like I did before. Make one statement that shows we know it's 54. And make one statement that shows that maybe it's possible it's actually negative 54. So draw your line and solve it out and do what you need to do to solve that one. And one more we're going to look at just so you can see it again. And I'm going to solve this one all the way to the end. Draw your line. Here's my absolute value, so we're going to treat it like a variable. So the friend of friend here would be plus 8, so I need to subtract 8. I end up with negative 108. Bring down negative 4 times the absolute value of 9 minus 9x. To get rid of times negative 4, I'm going to divide by negative 4. Negative 108 divided by negative 4 is 27. Bring down that absolute value. So from here, I'm just going to do the split again. I'm just going to do that split again. So I'm going to bring this over here. I've got it set up as positive 27, and then it's negative. So I need to subtract 9 from both sides here. It might be easier for you just to do one whole one and then do the other one, but I'm just trying to do it all at one time just to see if I can do it, really. 27 minus 9 is 18. Negative 27 minus 9 is negative 36. I almost said 35 there. Now I need to divide by negative 9. x is equal to 4. x is equal to negative 2. So my answer set in my little curvy brackets or braces or whatever you want to call them would be negative 2 and 4. It's really simple. Just work them out, uh, split them up, and I think everything will be good. If you have any uh, questions, once again, just let me know and I will try to answer them. So good luck.